limits of indeterminate quotients. So quotients because we are dividing something by something and indeterminate because if I substitute this limit, let's say 1 here, then what do I get? If I substitute 1 here, I get this is like square root of 5 minus 1 minus square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 square root is 2. So I get 2 here, right? And 3 plus 1 is also 4. 4 square root is 2. And here we have 0 already. So we have 0 over 0. So whenever we have 0 over 0, we call it indeterminate questions. Okay? These are indeterminate questions. Wherever we get 0 over 0. Now, what to do in such cases? So easy method of substitution doesn't work here. Correct? Now, there are three possibilities which you should explore. One, try to simplify as we did in, you can see examples on reciprocal functions, right? If there are reciprocal functions involved, simplification of expression can solve your problem. Then second is when you, there are polynomials involved. If there are polynomials involved in numerator and denominator, that means the rational function. In that case, factoring is the perfect solution. And this is the third type where radicals are involved. So when radicals are involved, then rationalization is a very good option. In either case, I prefer one more method, which is substitution. So we have some examples on substitution also. You can substitute uh, your variables and then simplify. That's an extremely important good technique. If the first three processes fail, substitution will take you through, okay? Well, here I will adopt a simple technique of rationalization, okay? So, let's do that. So, we can write this as limit x approaches 1 in rationalization, you remember, right? 5 minus x minus square root of 3 plus x over x minus 1. So, we have to multiply and divide by its conjugate. That means plus 1 here, right? So, we get 5 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x, correct, over x, correct. So if I do this, oh sorry, I have to write the whole thing, not just x, that's my mistake. 5 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x, let me correct it here by writing plus like this, okay. Now, so, so when I multiply, so I get a square minus b square, right? This is a minus b times a plus b. So a square square of square root is, so we get 5 minus x here, minus b square, which is 3 plus x, right? Okay, I should have written limit x approaches also on the side, which I forget and I keep forgetting. So right, limit x approaches 1, okay? Okay, over x minus 1 times the whole thing, which is square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x, okay? So this is what we get. Now this could be written as, now we like open this bracket, 5 minus 3 is 2, right? And minus x minus x is minus 2x. So we get limit x approaches 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2 and minus x minus x is minus 2x. Is that okay? And over, we get x minus 1 times this, which is square root of 5 minus x plus the conjugate of this term, right? Which is 3 plus x, correct? So here we can factor out 2 and you're left with x minus 1, correct? So I'll do that and I write limit x approaches 1 and in the numerator, I have 2 times. Now, since in the denominator we have x minus 1, let me factor out minus 2. That means this minus 2, right? Then I get x minus 1 here. x minus 1. And we have x minus 1 in the numerator times square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x. Correct. Now, I can cancel out x minus 1, correct? 
then I am left with limit x approaches 1. Okay. And let's have a better look on this. And we have on the numerator minus 2. And in the denominator, we are left with square root of 5 minus x plus square root of 3 plus x. Correct. Now we can substitute 1 and get our answer. If we do that, we get minus 2 here and 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 square root 2 is 2. And then here we get plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2. So we get 4 here, right? So we get minus 2 divided by 4 which is minus 1 over 2. So limit of this function is minus half. And I hope you understand what we did all together. First we substituted 1 and found that this is indeterminate. It's meaningless. 0 over 0. So this doesn't work. Since there are radicals, we adopted the method of rationalization. So we multiplied and divide by the conjugate of the numerator, right? And simplified it. We got a common factor, which was making it 0 over 0. That's important. And once we get rid of that, then we can always substitute 1 and get the answer. Okay? I hope you appreciate what we've done and understand the method. We have a couple examples here. Go through those examples and then try your problems. If there is any question, put them on the comments. Then we'll solve. Okay, thank you.